Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer. In today's episode of Midlands to London, we're going to be heading over towards Luton so we can make a start on the Midland Main Line. Jermaine has asked that I make a start on the, main, the Midland Main Line, so I thought I would. We've done quite a lot of the West Coast Main Line now, so I guess we can make a start on the Midland Main Line now, I think. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be hoping to finish, well, get built London, uh, no, not definitely not London, Luton Airport Parkway and Luton Station itself should be able to get those done in this episode it's pretty straightforward in the last episode we built milton Keynes central which no we didn't we built nuneaton don't know why i said milton Keynes central definitely built nuneaton uh so yeah that's connected up we've got the line from coventry to nuneaton we've just got a couple of class 150s running on that at the minute just in regional railways colors because i'm not sure if the service was operating and if at the, during this period and if it was who was operating it so i've just put some regional railways colored ones on got a london midland service in well no this is a this during this time period it's a silver link service but uh, yeah it will be eventually london North, london midland and then london northwestern railway but what i've done is i've just replicated the crew to euston service stopping at nuneaton for the time being and I've replicated the service as it is today, so it's the, I guess you'd call it the LM110 service, which is basically non-stop, it goes Nuneaton, and then it goes Rugby, and then off towards Milton Keynes, bypassing Northampton. I think it used to go to Northampton, but they sped up the service from Crew to London Euston, so it just goes on the up-down fasts, actually, rather than the up-down slows. A little bit, of, little bit tricky trying to get it pathed in, where is it? It is there. Yeah, so I'm finally, finally managed to do it. I think what I'm going to have to do is kind of do the signalling around the stations once I've got the signals in, because it is really difficult pathing things in, especially with the likes of this service, because it does go on the fast lines, even though it's a, uh, a stopping service, I guess you'd call it, rather than the Avanti Virgin non-stop services, which pretty much go past Nuneaton Rugby and Milton Keynes, with only a couple of them stopping on each of the different services so it's a little bit yeah a little bit tricky but i've managed to get that in into place anyway and it's tricky as well with the up down fast uh switching kind of orientation as they get into rugby they kind of change a little bit so yeah that's in now anyway i've got it going into the if we go just quickly down to london euston now the we're looking south the leftmost platforms are the virgin slash avanti services the middle platforms as far as i can tell out are the london overground services uh, the watford dc line services and then the rightmost platforms are kind of the silver link london midland platforms but because the crew euston service as it is now goes on the up down fast it's kind of on one of the avanti platforms it's i don't i'm not sure if that's how it is in real life but with the way the signals and switches are, that's the only way I can get it to work. So that's into there. So yeah, we've got quite a lot done. I think what I might do is at the end of this episode, we're not gonna, I don't think we're gonna have a journey to on the middle and main line just yet, but I've done a little bit of detailing, no, not, not detailing, decoration on the West Coast main line. So I think I might do an uneaten to Houston. I know we've done quite a few West Coast main line cab rides now, but uh, as, the, as I start to do some more detailing, decoration and stuff like that, I think it's just it's good to see the progress of the, the West Coast Main Line because that's like the main main topic of this series is mostly the West Coast Main Line with a few brand lines here and there. So that's enough of me talking about the West Coast Main Line. Let's get on and look at the Midland Main Line. Now, I think what I'll do is what I've been doing for the past few episodes is delete Luton. Just makes our life a little bit easier. And then if I just take a kind of orientate ourselves a little bit so ooh, that was silly wasn't it right so Luton was about here right so buildings I think I will go for NL again yeah uh, so 240 because they are mainline stations catenary it does have catenary not sure if it has catenary in this yeah it, it does does it um, don't need to worry about that tracks one high speed catenary so we're going to chuck in Bedford around, not Bedford, Luton. Luton around there. Actually, where is Bedford? Bedford's over there. So let's get these pointed, pointed in the right sort of direction. So something a little bit like that. So that's Luton. And then what I wanted is I wanted enough space at least. 
for a 240 meter long train before we had the Luton Airport Parkway station which is kind of it's about can't be more than two minutes away from Luton station itself I think that just needs to be a little bit further away but I would like to just have spare space there for a train just to basically be there so that's that one let's get on and build Luton Airport the Luton Parkway or Luton Airport Parkway that's the one so let's go to we want some tracks first of all don't we high speed catenary and then we just want a few tracks here so there's only it's pretty straightforward actually Luton Airport Parkway it is just one island platform and four tracks going for a platform face on either side now with your new update I don't know actually if I need to do this anymore because the once the update comes stations will the station capacity will be added to via buildings or something like that so if you put a building down it'll add to the station capacity so I think as far as I could work out so I don't know if I actually need to do this anymore but I'll do it anyway <laughs> just because that's how we've been doing it and it, it just makes like the separation of the tracks a little bit wider so when we come to bring them in together it's just a little bit more tricky but I think should be all right actually doing it that way yeah we'll, we'll just continue with how we've been doing it now what did I want to do I did want to do something which is useful right let's configure this so we've got misc where's misc it's there couple of steps at the very far end of the station and then some canopy going on as we'll have first of all chuck ticket machines on that side a couple of benches on there and on and there and then we'll go with the canopy which basically covers the southern most end of the station something a bit like that and then what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to try and experiment with tracks the five what's five meter look like 2.55 what's that era c cargo era c yeah i don't know don't know about this but i think yeah because you've got a fence there anyway but all it is 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 there any wider ones 20 meter 10 meter no that's just that's a shame it's not the width of a segment isn't it because all it is is these little bits like this the platforms are a little bit longer here but does that does that look all right i don't think it does does it, it looks a bit pants no it doesn't really add anything to it i was i was hoping it would like it make the bed the platform look a little bit longer because obviously if i put like a full length in it it'd just be too long because it's only like a little up so basically these two platforms appear to be offset from these two platforms basically so you've got a little bit of here a little bit here and then on these platforms you've got a little bit here and a little bit here but it doesn't really look like we can replicate that anyway so i think we will just leave it as is now what we'll do though is we'll go passenger building which is there and then we'll chuck in some steps at either side like so and then we'll just put in a little bit of road a little bit of streets that one and we'll do something we'll just put a little bit of street along there with quite a tight curve i don't normally like putting 90 degree curves like that but i don't think we've got much heat. yeah no we'll do because we need need that bit of road and then another bit of road alongside and then another 90 degree and then what i want to do is on this side we want a bit of parking which ruins that curve doesn't it so let's put in actually if i put in a little bit of little bit of street there and then if i put street here let's see what this does using the wrong color let's upgrade the color of that upgrade the color yeah no it's still doing that right can i put in a t-junction make sure you're using the right color this time and then if i go in with this no it's not liking that anymore right car park and then if i delete that then we end up with that corner there that's fine and then we'll have something like that a little bit of parking and then this side where is assets car park is that an asset it is so we've got multi-story here no we haven't we've got a multi-story on this side just trying to be a little bit more accurate with the building because nothing there's not going to be a great deal around here anyway other than the airport which i think we will build and then i'll just chop another one on there just to make it look a little bit bigger something a bit like that and we will eventually have the dart as well which is was it the direct 
airport rail transit or something like that which is going to be roughly located here that's why we needed this road in so we'll build that eventually we will be building the airport as well may as well right so some tracks we can just chuck those out for now actually i think what i want to do is just to even the tracks out so if i have that nice and straight then what i'll do is i'll run a couple of tracks along here to about there and then what we'll do is line them up and then get rid of these segments again a little bit of a little bit of an awkward way of doing this but it just makes these like as these two tracks come in it's like dead center so these tracks will be slightly faster 60 miles per hour is still no 60 miles per hour is very slow i don't know if all services stop at the airport uh, parkway station so i think we'll make them a little bit faster oh uh, yeah we'll do that and then that what speed does that give me actually that's 120 that's more than fast enough i think yeah so that's nice and balanced nice and even going into there and then we've got the same again so we want to do probably about that long we don't want it to be too long and then we'll put a bit of track in two bits of track in fact and then get rid of that and then we'll do the same just connect those up why is that why is that so much slower 67 all right if i put a switch in there and then we can get rid of that bit of track see if we can't make that a little bit faster and then get that connected up yeah 90 that's a little bit better well we'll take that into there like so so far so good so we've got that in there now we've got that pretty basic I'll, we'll just we'll rename that actually to Luton Airport Parkway I'll build the link between actually ooh, what's that the orientation there is done it again haven't I I've managed that or have I done it wrong actually I'm just going to double check I think if there was a reason I've done it like that yeah this time we can get away with that because the track kind of does curve roughly in that sort of direction anyway so that's fine chuck those bits of track in and then I'll finish that off later all right so the next thing is building Luton station itself so we want to configure this one again pretty straightforward we've got so let's get some tracks in first of all so we've got another island platform thingy going on actually let's just extend some of these tracks out for now platforms and now again right so this one wants to be no this no this is that one right so this is the island platform which is a, a little bit offset like so and then this one wants to come down to here yeah that's right so this station is going to be a little bit longer no no don't, don't do that Right, so that is the island. So we need some tracks down here. And then we've got another island platform here. Like so, and then another. No, stop trying to build that track. We don't want the game to crash. And then we've got the track going down there. Like so. So I can actually delete these two bits of track. Because they don't need to be assigned to platforms. That's all fine. And then we want some steps. Misc. And then we'll just have some steps along there like so right so next thing is actually we need some track no platform invisible platform because i want to try and do something can i get in some steps on this side no that's okay okay so get rid of get rid of the invisible thing that we can't actually see get rid of that one as well right so what i want is now this is is this going to work i don't know let's see so we do actually need a platform there no this isn't going to work i don't think right so then we want some steps there and then can i oh i can oh, it has worked that's good nice right okie dokie so we've got those in there and we've got to need a little bit of we'll put the road in actually yeah let's put the road so i wanted a road alongside well i think what i need is configure platform misc steps not step yeah stairs those ones get rid of that and gonna get rid of that where's the little delete that one and then passenger building if not, oh, i can't put them on that side anyway put them on that side looks a little bit weird but let's just see if we can squeeze the road in that's the most important thing we can squeeze the road underneath that bridge and there's tendrils so i think i will take that and then we'll have a road just down there alongside and then another road and then we'll have the dart here i think yep yeah, that looks okay i think we will take it and then this side we want to configure again uh, passenger building we're going to go with one of these flat roofed 
thingy my bobs. So we'll put in without entrance, yes. Yeah, so these ones don't have an entrance, right? So as we have an auto save. Right, so we'll have these buildings. They look pretty small. Is there no bigger ones with an entrance? It doesn't want to be huge. Actually, if you put oh what's that? No, that's a look <laughs> that looks a bit too big. That one? No, I think we'll go with these ones. Yeah, I think that's probably a little bit more accurate. And then we'll just chuck a couple of these. Actually, no, we don't need... We only need one with an entrance, don't we? But... Yeah, it's the only thing. They're not the same, are they? That'd be... Or is there? No, they're all different. So we'll have to have ones with... The entrance is not the end of the world, is it? Maybe just chuck a couple more alongside. Like so. And then we're on a main road. Running along here. Just to get that connected up. Did I say the dart's going to be here? Why did I say that? <laughs> I just just clicked onto what I've said. We we that's the other airport. Did I? Oh, I don't know. And I've just I've lost my train of thought. But I think I did say Dart was going to be there, which isn't obviously. It's going to be a multi-story car park. I think. Yeah, it is. It's just my writing's really faint on the map I've drawn. So yeah, we what we want here is a road and then a multi-story car park about there. And then again, we'll make it quite large, maybe even a little bit bigger, something like that. And then we'll have some tracks. So, bring this one round to about there-ish. That one as well. Nope, want to run alongside. And then what do we want? We want to link that to there. And then this one wants to link to there. And then bring this down. Actually, I'd want to actually, I'd put the tracks in first anyway, just so we can see where this road bridge wants to be. And then get that connected up. I guess about there. doesn't really matter how fast that is, I don't think. And then a switch. Right, and then what we need to do is delete some track. So, deleting a little bit too much. And then we're going to have to have a road. One, two, three, four. Road in a beach. Connect these bits of track up again. So we'll go, what? go to bridge, grey. And then just chuck that alongside there. So, is that going to... So we'll have to have that running there. So that's going to make that connection there a little bit slower, isn't it? 80 yeah i think i'll take that something a bit like that and then we want actually this has got catenary i don't think it has catenary yes i don't know why i didn't have catenary let's get all this electrified before i forget pretty sure the stations are aren't they let's just double check the stations are electrified that's fine right so next we want a little bit of no we'll use new track don't think it needs catenary coming off coming off here no all right can you can you go into the side of that without looking weird? You can. Good. And then we'll have a little bit of a little bit of old track alongside to about there. It doesn't really matter too much. This is just a little thingy my bob. One of them. It doesn't matter about the speed either. And then we'll just have a new switch into the side of that, like so. I think for that, that's pretty much all the switches done. There's just one here, which will make relatively fast. And then we'll get some tracks in on this side. So where's, where's Bedford? It's off that way. So we'll just run that track and then we'll just run that alongside to about there. Connect that up and then get these four tracks connected off. I'm not sure how these tracks... Oh, why is that running into the side of that? What have I done there? It's all a little bit odd looking. Yeah, I'm not sure how these are orientated, what kind of up-down. So I don't know if this is up-down fast or up-down slow. I'll just have to see if I can find out actually. Get that into there. We don't need to worry about that at the minute. We just need to get this track connected up. And then we'll have a bridge about here. So we'll go. I think it's quite a wide road at this point. So we want the four. No, we don't want that one. We want the four lane with a path. So one, two, three, four. Cross there. Get some tracks chucked in. Again, just grey go to bridge. Like so. Now the switch does appear to be actually on the bridge itself, but can you put a switch? Oh, you can. You can put a switch on a girder bridge. You just can't cross. It has to be either on the girder bridge or not. So we'll chuck that on the bridge, I think. And then we've got another switch here. And then we need a little bit of more track, finding where Bedford is. Bedford's over there. Make sure that's pointed in the right sort of direction. And then get that over to there. So we can just put our final final switch and so we've got that one there that one there and then we've just got another one there like so so that's all done that's all good yeah those bridges are quite far away from one another but not to worry and then we'll just get rid of this road here 
think what I'll do is I'll just bring this up. Player ownership, yes. Get that connected into there for now. And I think this one as well, we will own that as well. Just so the game doesn't connect any roads to it. Because then it just ruins the look of the, the slope, doesn't it? So I don't know where that goes, but it'll go somewhere eventually. And then we'll get that connected up. And then I think what I'll do is just curve this in to this road here that hasn't really yeah, a little bit weird with the slope can I maybe if I put it into there instead and I think this wants to run alongside the car park and again this will just have to be connected up over here otherwise the slope looks really rubbish and then I think I'll do this I will just quickly do the same on this side maybe if I just have a little bit of straight road because so I do I try and get the game to I do try and encourage the game to build like alongside the railway as well because otherwise it can look a little bit, a bit kind of just like dead space sometimes so yeah we'll just know that's making that look rubbish yes I could bring this up a little bit sooner couldn't I let's try that instead so using the four lane just bring that up as quick as possible a little bit better and then just get that connected up to there like so we don't want to do any smoothing of anything around the, the bridge just just on this side we'll just do a little bit of smoothing and on that side just there as well and then I think what I'll do is I will just get so this road here take player ownership so player ownership of that yes please but not of the roads either side of it we'll just let the game do what it wants with those bits of road similarly with this so game uh, game own player ownership yes and then player ownership no because then the game can just do what it wants the AI right and then the same on this side we can just have player ownership no that's all fine so let's just double check all the right things so player ownership yes of that one yep so I own that that's fine and then this one I own that as well so that's all fine and I think last thing is we'll just put in some walls so let's go uh, Full skew, um, full skew, grey cap, for like so, and then no walls, no cap, one, two, three, I'm probably going to need a fourth, and then we'll go with grey cap. Just, uh, I've finally learned how to do these properly, I've just been observing like real bridges and just how they work, and that's pretty much how they look. Full skew again, so we'll go maybe a little bit further back, so one of them. And there are, there are like front and middles as well, but I just do it this way. It's just a bit easier. No cap, no walls. One, two, three. Oh, I could have moved that in a little bit closer, actually. Yeah, because doing it this way, obviously it's more realistic. It's more accurate. But also it moves these walls into closer to the road, which again is just more realistic for that. So one of them, and then no cap, no walls. One, two, no damn no delete that one no that one all right then right one two three four gray cap like so that's probably the best one i've done so far and then another one on this side again just uh full skew this one's gonna have to be a little bit further back i think uh, no cap no walls one two three maybe it could have been actually let's try that again yeah, it's a little bit deceptive you don't think it can cover as much of the bridge as it does so gray cap full skew something a little bit like that no cap no walls one two three four gray cap and then the same on this side so full skew no cap no walls one two three four and then gray cap just to finish that off like that so yeah that's that's how they're supposed to look that's how they look in real life it's a lot more accurate and it gets the the actual wall further or closer to the road right so we've done all that now uh, is there another bridge i think i'll worry about that next time what i want to do before i finish the episode is town so commercial doesn't really matter i think we'll just put in small and we'll just chuck it in around here maybe yeah, because Luton, it's, Luton Station is pretty much smack bang in the middle of Luton. If I try and place it here, I wonder what it does. Let's see. That's good. It goes either side. That's good. Like that. Gravesend. Nope, definitely Luton. And the station as well wants to be called Luton. Okie dokie, so that's not too bad. Obviously you need to do a little bit of painting with the gravel texture. 
ballast just to get rid of the grass in between those tracks there but obviously I'll do that off camera do a little bit do a little bit more decoration just to make that look a little bit better obviously get rid of all the grass down there in the middle of the station because that just looks pants so yeah we've got two stations built which is nice Luton Airport Parkway and Luton Station and I think what I'll do is I will get this connected up to the Midland Main Line off camera so we can have a cab ride in the next episode at the end of the next episode but in this the end of this episode is going to be Nuneaton to uh, Nuneaton to Euston the going past the more decorated sections of the West Coast Main Line doesn't look very good doesn't look like very much has been done from like zoomed out but once you're on the actual once you're in the cab itself it doesn't really matter too much you will it will look a lot better so I think what I'll do is I'll do a little bit more decoration between Nuneaton and Rugby and then I will leave a cab ride at the end of this video it's a separate video so you can take a look at that see if it looks any better so I'm gonna leave it there for today say until next time bye bye